yeah, so today we're, we're demonstrating a, a co-packaged copper concept for a switch tray. The uh, purpose of this uh, demonstration is to show how we will extend the life of passive copper within a rack. Well, the big transition that's happening here is that rather than the typical high-speed escape through a PCB and over through connectors, we've moved that high-speed escape to the top of the substrate over low-loss flyover wires. This low-loss low flyover wires gives us extra margin at a system level to enable passive backplanes at a rack level. This is all 224 gig ready. These are challenges that we're starting to see at 224 gig that weren't there in the previous 100 gig generation. And this is a, a key technology enabler for customers to build scale up fabrics in a rack. Um, you know, obviously with, with, with the rack scale solution, um, we go to liquid cooling in order to um, deliver the, the cooling solution given to one rack unit, we don't have airflow. And so we're here with our partner showing how we're looking cool in it. Uh, this copper event, you know, this copper generation allows us to scale copper connectivity, but there still will be cluster sizes that grow beyond what we can put in a rack. For that, we've, we've shown a model here, which is our co-package optics. Here we're showing uh, the conceptual solution of leveraging our uh, XPU ASIC directly with our CPO engines. This allows us to disaggregate uh, the compute across multiple racks and uh, enable higher cl scale clusters. As an example, you could put 128 of these GPUs per rack and then have a, a thousand node or 2000 node scale up cluster with a single layer of switching. That, and that's enabled because the optics give you that freedom to go anywhere within a row uh, at low loss and low power. Which one's your favorite? Uh, this one is the money maker in the future. This one's the money maker today. <laughs>